Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 animation series. In today's video we are going to be showing you a deeper look at animation states within our animation blueprints. And the best way that I can do this is by creating a new animation blueprint with you guys and then setting up a state machine and going through exactly what the purpose of the states are and how to create them and some of the other little bits and bobs that are associated with them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight in. So to create an animation blueprint, just simply right click in your content browser and add an animation blueprint. From here, it is going to ask you to choose a skeleton to work with. Now one thing to bear in mind is that it's only going to be able to work with this specific skeleton. And then as such, with that skeleton, you are going to have your set animations that work specifically with that skeleton. So make sure that you do choose the right one here. Now, right now, you can see I've got two versions of the mannequin, one from the starter content, and then you've also got a second from the animation starter pack. Make sure it is the one from the animation starter pack that you're working with, and then just press OK. If you want to check where it's coming from, just hover over it, and then you can see that. Moving on from there, you are now going to have to give your animation blueprint a name. I'm just going to give this the name. Um, so, new animation blueprint. And then once I've done this, just double click on it to open it up. And then from here, what we're going to do is take a look at how states work in a little bit more detail. Now, for the most part, right now, what you have is your anim graph. And anything that you hook up into this final animation pose is going to be played. However, if we try and hook up more than one animation, it's simply not something that we can do. So having said that, what we're going to do is we need to use a state machine. And this state machine is going to allow us to swap between animation states, which have animations within them, based on blueprint code. So if you want to add an animation state machine, it's pretty straightforward. Just right click and then type in state machine. And then what you'll have is something that looks a bit like this. So you can right click the state machine and give it a new name. So right click and rename and just call it state machine. It doesn't have to be anything particularly fancy. The name doesn't really matter too much. And then what you want to do is just get your animation pose from this and drag it into the final animation pose, which is our main output for this animation blueprint. So double click on the state machine and then we can go inside of this and start working with some animation states. By default, what you should have is something that looks like this. So you should have simply just an entry node. And then from here, you can drag out from this little arrow and you can add either a conduit state or a normal state. Now generally, you are only really going to be working with normal states. I'll explain conduit states a little bit later, but for now, just add a regular state. Now, a state for a character would be things like walking, running, jumping, crouching, and so on and so forth. Now, the one that we're going to be setting up for now is simply going to be walking slash running and we're good to go now the way this state works is each one of these states they have their own properties within them or their own animations within them and you can access these just, uh, just by double clicking on them and what you get from here is a final animation pose similar to before however this is the final animation pose specifically for this walking and running state and you can see this reflected at the top over here. So, we've, so we are within our state machine and we're also within our walking and running state. Now for our walking and running state, what you might want to use is your blend space that we set up already. Or you could simply just put in a walking and running animation in here. It's up to you. But personally, what I like to do is use a blend space as it allows you to go from walking to running based on some information. So let's go ahead and drag one of these in. So we've got test BS here. 
click, drag and drop from your asset browser, and then you can hook this blend space up into the final animation pose. Now it's asking for some direction and speed information. We will get to that a little bit later on in this series, but you guys now know how to hook up a blend space. You can also just drag in an animation the same way, just drag it in from the asset browser and hook it up to the final animation pose. So for now, I'm just going to leave that blend space connected. Go back to our state machine and from here we can add another state in. So, for example, if you wanted to have a prone state, you could do. So you could just drag up from walking and running, add another state and give it the name prone. And then if you double click this to open it up, all you've got to do from here to create this animation state is to just select your prone idle in your asset browser and hook it up into our final animation pose. And don't forget, if you want to see what one of these animations look like, you can just double click them in the asset browser in the bottom right, and then you can go and view this. So what you should have now, if you go back to your animation blueprint, is you should have two states, walking and running, and also a prone. Now, between this, you should have a transitional rule, a little pin that looks a little bit like this. And essentially, the role of this pin is to tell the animation blueprint when to go into each of the states. As of right now, there is no information in there, and that's something that we're going to be dedicating an entire video to. But what you do need to know is this line next to this transitional rule controls how and where the states can go. So right now, we can go from the entry to the walking running state, and we can go to the prone but we can't go back from the prone to the walk in running. So you do also need to drag a line back from pr uh, prone to walking and running to give you a bit more control over the flow of that. So we can prone, go back to running, go back to prone and so on and so forth and do all of that good stuff. So hopefully you guys are starting to get a better understanding of how states work and their role within an animation blueprint. We do still need to look at how we can set up transitional rules to switch between these different animation states, but that is going to be something we'll be covering in the next few videos. Anyway guys, once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.